Ghost Universe here with a little review. As you can see here, we have the new Christmas dive coaster, 7 inch dive coaster to be exact, as you can see right here at the bottom. I know what you're all going to say, it's a super loop, so I mean it's still a roller coaster. <laughs> Just kidding, we all know it's not, but according to Six Flags they are. But, so let's get into this review. Now these little roller coaster rides were a little thing that they had out for at least Christmas 2017. They may have them back in the future. But I know for a fact that Walmart has them and Home Depot had them this year. I haven't been to any other stores really so I don't know if any other ones have had them but that's the only places I've heard that have them. But let's take a little closer look at it and see exactly what kind of features it has. Before we take it out of the box, let's take a look at the box itself. As you can see here, you can see it says holiday time, and then it has the little jingle bells here. And then right here it says for ages 14 and up. I mean, I'm not, nobody's going to stop you if you're not 14 and up. But that's just the recommended age. Remember, it's not recommended as a toy, more as a display model. Then on the bottom you have all the warnings and copyright and whatnot. Just on the side you have the 7 inch dive coaster. Here's the barcode. And on the back is a lot more of the operating instructions. And as you can see, down the left is in English, and down the right is in Spanish. So they can market it in both Spanish and English speaking countries and areas of the world. So let's take it out of the box and see what it looks like and sounds like out of the box. Now that it is out of the package, we can see right here is a Happy Santa waving to anybody that's coming by. And let's get a little close-up view of the train. You can see it is made up of an engine and three cars, all with happy people enjoying the ride on it. And then I notice one thing here is this, some sort of tag thing, maybe hot glue. Okay, it's just a little piece of hot glue stuck to it. But you can notice they have a little ornamental decoration right here along the bottom. And then around the other sides is plain, just this glittery snow stuff, which as you can see, We'll get all over everything. But as we get a closer look, you will notice there are LEDs located here and here. And then also there are LEDs located on the outside. So let's get this started up and see what it looks like. But then if you look at the bottom, you'll notice here's your battery hatch which I'm presuming holds double A's. I have not opened it yet, but I'm assuming there's double A's in there. And you can see right here is a switch, which is kind of hard to read on the camera. But this side says sensor, or uh, sorry, this side says try me, and this side says operation on. And then if you flip that switch, it turns on. And I'll keep running until you turn it off. Because if you notice, this button doesn't do anything anymore. As soon as you turn it off down here, that button works again. And it runs through all kinds of different songs every time you play it. Now thank you for watching this video. If you want to go pick it up, uh, go look at your local Walmart or wherever it is around you that might sell Christmas stuff because I feel like this is the theme this year of things for sale. But this has been another Coaster Universe review video. It's a very nice little model. It's only $10 opposed to some of the more expensive ones like Coaster Universe. Which I'd like to thank you all for watching. Make sure you subscribe to see more of these updates or, and reviews. Um, the next uh, construction update will either be at Kings Island a little bit after Winterfest, or during Winterfest I should say, depending if there's any construction really going on there, because I don't know if you'll be able to see any from Winterfest. Um, but that'll probably be the next construction update until um, Cedar Point's Winter Chill Out. Then I also have a lot more reviews planned, because there's still two more of this type of ride that I've purchased for reviews. Again, make sure you subscribe for more of this type of video more off-rides, more on-rides, and some more buildings of uh, Coaster Dynamics. There's one more coming up here shortly that I'm pretty excited about. And then also make sure that you go onto Facebook and follow the Coaster Universe Preservation Museum. 
If you want more details, go to the Facebook page and a lot of your questions will be answered there. And if they're not answered, please feel free to uh, direct message us and we will answer any of your questions. But thanks for watching and have a Merry Christmas. Thank you.